20 years ago, a young boy played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on the Game Boy Advance and thought, gee, I should try skateboarding. He had dreams of becoming a pro skateboarder, and he sits before you today not even remotely close to those dreams. But he's still going to talk about skateboarding because Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is soon to come out. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Dornbush, and I am very excited to be unboxing the limited edition collector's edition of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, the remastered collection of the first two Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. So the collector's edition of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 comes with three main things that you need to know about. One, of course, is the game. The second is some digital deluxe content that you also get that to actually use in the game itself. And the third part is a real-life, actual piece of skateboarding equipment. It is a limited-run skateboard deck made by Birdhouse, Tony Hawk's company. Company. This doesn't come with any grip tape or wheels or trucks, so if you want to use it as a full skateboard, you actually can use it, you just need to go buy all those other pieces and customize it how you want. But this is a really cool collector's edition, especially if one, you're a Tony Hawk fan, two, you collect birdhouse decks, or three, you're just a huge pro skater fan and want some real life memorabilia to maybe one day use to try to replicate all of those stunts and tricks. But please be safe, use pads. Don't get a pebble stuck in your elbow like someone did when they were 12. This guy. The limited edition deck, of course, actually comes in a couple variations, so you'll have to check out which one you have in the box. We have a couple versions here. This one has a green top to it, as you can see. So the deck that you get can come in a couple different variations. Of course, you might cover it up with grip tape and never see what that board looks like to begin with. But it is a very cool looking deck, and of course, on the back side of it, it has the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater logo, a familiar birdhouse drawing that you may recognize, as well as a replica of Tony Hawk's signature on it. The collector's edition, of course, itself does come with the game so you can actually play it and not just look at a board for the rest of your life as well as some digital deluxe content. I'm not going to show you that piece of paper so you don't accidentally redeem my code. We've seen a lot of different limited editions and collector's editions throughout time for a ton of different games. What I like about this one is it's a pretty simple package. It's not like 50 things tossed in there that I hope maybe you'll like this bobblehead. Maybe you'll like this keychain. Who knows what's in there? This is one pretty specific box, and of course, if you're a skateboarding fan and not just a fan of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater franchise, you get a real-life piece of equipment that you can actually use or display if you'd prefer to not actually ever put wheels to this thing. But as a former skateboarder myself, long ago stopped because of all of the injuries I received, um, and not because I was just bad at skateboarding, that's definitely not what happened. Uh, it's still a really, really cool piece to have, especially as a longtime fan of the Pro Skater franchise. And of course, you can buy the game on its own if you'd like, and if you pre-ordered it, you may already have access to the warehouse demo, so you can get a little taste of what's to come in Pro Skater 1 and 2 before it comes out on September 4th. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing and listening to my inane ramblings as a former skateboarder. If you want to see more from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, check out our interview with one of the devs at Vicarious Visions to find out a little bit more about what went into this remastered collection. And of course, for everything else skateboarding, you're already in the right place, my living room. You should also go to IGN, though, to check out more skateboarding game content. That's probably a good place to go for that. Now, I might go customize the skate deck. I might put, you know, normal board wheels on it. I might put long board wheels on it because that's what I did as a kid with a regular deck because I wanted to skate around more easily and I was very, very bad at tricks. But unfortunately, nowhere had any long board wheels for me to buy except for my local skate shop. They kept promising for months they would get in stock and they actually got so sick of me calling they told me to stop calling and just check back at the end of the summer for them. So I started using other fake voices to call in as other people asking if they got the longboard wheels in. Sometimes I pretended to be the sister of a guy who wanted to skateboard and was trying to buy him wheels for his birthday. Sometimes I was a grandparent asking for wheels for their nephew or their grandson, not their nephew. I was also an uncle at one point, I think, during these calls. I tried a lot of voices and long story short, none of it helped accelerate the process of them getting the wheels. So to those people out there who were working at that skateboard shop in New York 20 years ago, I'm sorry.